Oops. Oh, oh well, don't matter. Um, yeah. Game two of this best of three here, two v two between Moon and Lin versus Focus and Loliet. So Focus winning in as the red orc player in the bottom right. He'll be allied with that's not red. There it is. With Loliet as the night elf player in the top right. They'll be facing off against Lin, the light blue orc, and. Uh, Moon, the light blue night elf. Okay, okay. Intro's done. Okay, thank god. Um, this is like take three because I got the colors mixed up twice in a row. And I might be slightly slightly off off my game here. So, yeah, the map's on Twisted Meadows. Uh, I mean, I could probably give my opinion about game one. Uh, what happened? I don't know what happened. I mean, the yellow side, uh, Focus's team got a huge army. The problem was, like, most of it was Huntresses, and do they do well? I guess they do do well in a 2v2 scenario because their Bouncing Glaives do. They will stack up eventually. The only problem is, I don't exactly know what happened. I think the execution was. Uh, maybe a slightly lackluster. I think the Coda Beast at the end might have screwed things over because they increased damage and the max. Increased value of having an ally as well, benefiting off that aura. Um, it's just whole weird. I think uh, another thing was that maybe uh, Moonside got an extra hero, meanwhile Loliet wasn't able to because he was stuck at tier one. That might be the main reason why it didn't turn out so well. Maybe picking a fight at your opponent's home turf is not smart either. So who knows? Early Huntresses fall for Loliet. Um, I think that's a rather, rather early one. Oh, I guess that is standard time. Uh, wow, maybe I did forget all about Night Elves. I could have sworn is this is an extremely early Huntress alike. Maybe this is for 2v2 only, but yeah, it seems rather early for me. Oh, seems like both uh, the red team might be considering harassing the same player on the top left. They don't know who it is, but they do know that is there. Surprising that the Demon Hunter got a dust there. Um, he might have just seen the Blade Master enter Wind Walk, and that might have just made him use that a dust. So are under attack. it didn't matter too much since the Blade Master is pretty much out of mana. I guess it did matter since it did give a give vision for the Demon Hunter to uh, go for one more mana burn there, but. Yeah, pretty much this harassment is probably not going to do too well. Uh, we, still, we shall see. Early tier 2s from the orc players. Uh, early tier 2s actually from every single player, so... Huh, that's interesting. Going into the action here, the orc burrow did get cancelled, so... Um, pretty good for the red side so far. Able to trap a grunt as well. Actually, I don't know if you... Um, if you think that Focus trapped the Grunt or Lin trapped the Grunt, I think uh, it's pretty much both. But the fact that Lin didn't lose his Grunt, maybe it might have been uh, the other way around and Focus just got trapped. So, yeah, kind of screwed there. Of course, he is kind enough to salve his allies a hero, so that is always good to see. Ultra Vision should be completed fairly soon, for Loliet at least. Moon has already completed it. I think that did mean he did get a slightly late um, Tree of Ages, which is in the case. And Focus is looking pretty good unharassed, so yeah, we'll see how it goes in the mid game, because that's probably what's going to determine the outcome of this game. Speed Scroll is going to be used, the Demon Hunter of Moon is being chased down rather mercilessly, and well, the Huntress is just not enough to go for the pathing there. Oh, we have a second challenger appearing. Uh, is it going to be enough? Does not look like it. Yeah, but the moon the moon wells have been reached, so yeah, there's that. Um, creeping for focus uh, for Lynette, Sorry, focus. I don't actually know what his blameless is currently doing. He is also farming, but at a rather uh, high risk 
but definitely more high reward uh, creep camp there. Able to pick up the plus 6 claw attack, which is always nice to see on a blade master. Maybe not so much for the opponent's, opposing side, but a player's force is yeah, hopefully attack. this guy can turn into a monster. And who knows, maybe Lin might get his own, and it might be two monsters facing off against each other. Either way, I'll uh, probably one kill away from le level 2. I don't know if a Whisk can actually give you enough experience since it's being split, but yep, that is enough actually. Uh, exceeding by one point, in fact. But, didn't really destroy any Moonwalls just yet. Uh, did get like one or two Wisps, but yeah, so far no Moonwalls have fallen, not even the ones being constructed, so... I yeah, don't exactly know what the purpose of that harassment was. Now I can see what's coming out as the second hero for Loliet. Quick detonation from Moon, and uh, that should be a Naga for Moon as well. Actually, we have a Shadow Hunter as well for Linus, so as well as so focus. So, uh, both players going s literally the same heroes uh, among each other, so just trying to get the highest value heroes right now, which is indeed Shadow Hunter and Naga Sewitch. Naga Sewitch enables a lot, and it creates more opportunities for the Shadow One to get his hexes off, and the Blade Master Demon Hunter is just a solid bulk. Um, that just destroys front lines, I guess, and pretty much Demon Hunters can destroy any mana-based hero, or mana-based unit, in fact. Okay. Double Ancient of Laws for Moon, double Dryads, uh, Double Ancient of Laws for Loliet as well. So, yeah, pretty much both sides is is basically treating this game as 1v1s, but twice. So, Code Beast being attack. queued up there. Actually, no, it got cancelled into another raider. I would love to see more Code Beast from the Orc players because, um, yeah, it's just Code Beast is ridiculously, ridiculously strong. Sure, they do cost a bit, but they effectively take out any sort of unit um, off the battlefield until it kills itself, so it has its values. This rock golem is going to get killed off there, the item is going to be the flute of accuracy. Um, I, I don't know if the shadow one will keep this, he might give it over to the Naga Sea Witch maybe. Um, but yeah, mainly it is going to be the Night Elf player who will be benefiting off of that aura. Devotion aura from the Demon Hunter as well being picked up there. I uh, don't exactly know where he picked this one up from. I think it was this uh, Troll Warlord, Warlord camp. But the camp did get interrupted by the red side. So far it looks like more team a players work for the red team as they are a lot closer to each other, grouping essentially. But uh, that does mean the experience is being shared. Heavily. Monks and stole a uh, rock throw there onto the Naga Sea Witch. Of course, the Blame Master couldn't actually capitalize off of that. So, just going to bide his time, wait for a good opportunity. Code of Beast number one is out, and the peons are running, so this might be another fight here. The peons running for both sides, so Spirit Links are going to be casted. Wisp being try and, uh, trying to utilize their detonations there, but He's running out of a hex onto a wisp, which is uh, a questionable usage of mana, but um, that might be able to work things out. Hex onto the Blade Master, getting a really easy kill there. Level 2 on uh, 3 heroes. Uh, probably was Lin's mistake to extend so far with his deep Blade Master. Code Beast number 1 is being focused down. It did eat a Dryad, but Code Beast number 2 is out. Will it go for an eat? Who knows? Dryad is doing a lot of damage against that Blade Master. Blade Master does have full invuln, so he will be able to just live for a couple more seconds. The amount for Moon is rather low health, so he should probably back off and maybe heal up, but actually it is going to be the red side who will be pushed back away from this attack. This is extremely surprising, considering it was Loliet and Focus the ones that the initiated that fight. And they did get the really early uh, hero kill on the Blade Master, but... Uh, I, I don't know, I guess Lin and Moon's army was 
maybe too much for them to handle. Okay, Blue Master almost level 3. He needs to do a lot of work here to make up for that lost fight. A um, player's forces are under attack. Lots of units rotating out. Seems like this other match I camp will be cleared out. I thought it was possibly gonna get gonna be a expansion attempt there, but uh to no avail. Then it is going to go for another than over no loves here camp here. He's really preying on these uh, item drops, and it is going to be a plus six call of attack, so he did pray well enough, and he will be able to pretty much uh, stand toe to toe with Focus's own Blade Master here. Unless he gets like an extremely good item like uh, Quaff Lost Boots or another Aura. Scourge Bone Chimes is pretty good. 15% lifesteal to the melee units is uh, pretty solid. I don't know if Focus will actually keep that item though. I mean, Grunts do have fairly bit of health, so they can be able to. They are able to use that orb for a long time. Uh, it looks like Lolith's base is being attacked. He did lose one mineral already. TP scroll, uh, TP staff onto a dry here from the uh, Demon Hunter. TP scroll is going to be used by the Orc army, and they are going to go for a huge brawl here. Lots of light blue units, however, so the red army might slowly die off. Um, Blame Master is hacking his way at it. Meanwhile, where is the Blame Master of Focus? I don't know. Uh, being away from this fight is a huge loss of DPS, and uh, I can't find him. There he is. I don't know what he was doing, but he is going to engage on the opposite Blade Master. Level 3 Shadow Hunter there, so that could possibly be level 2 healing wave, but it could also be uh, level 2 hex. The amount of moon is being chunked down there. Fog lightning is going to do a fair bit of damage, but uh, yes, slightly too tanky. Nice and there into a focus fire from the light blue army, and that is going to be demon under getting taken down level 3. Uh, pretty much not many units to actually fend this off, and Loliet might actually lose a base here. Um, Oh, what can the Red Army do? Four Dryads, it's just not enough to deal with this kind of army size, and it, this might be game over for Loliet. GG from Loliet, GG from Focus, and that is going to be game two of this best three. So it's going to be Lin and Moon advancing to whichever higher uh, round this, uh, the next one will be, and I don't know when I will cast again, so yeah, for now, enjoy hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.